Recent global figures indicate that 35% of women worldwide have experienced either intimate partner violence or non-partner sexual violence in their lifetime. Consider the US, for example. Over 293,000 people a year are victims of rape or sexual assault. That's equivalent to one victim every two minutes. Unfortunately, samples from sexual assault type cases are among the most difficult sample types encountered by many forensic laboratories. These samples either have very small quantity of male DNA compared to high quantity female DNA, or they contain multiple male contributors, which can mean complex mixture analysis. To further compound this issue, the steps to achieve a DNA profile are often quite labor intensive and very time consuming. So today, let's discuss a streamlined workflow for sexual assault casework when dealing with challenging DNA mixture samples. Let's start with quantification, and for that, we need the Quantifiler Trio Kit. Now, due to the kit's ability to accurately detect sub-picogram levels of DNA in a reproducible manner, labs are now able to use it as an upfront DNA confirmatory screening method. And it can answer the question, is there male DNA present or absent? And in just under two hours, forensic scientists will now know if we have a viable sexual assault sample for further processing. In fact, you can process up to 20 sexual assault kits in under two hours, depending on your number of swabs. So let's demonstrate the protocol. Cut off a small piece of cotton swab sample and save the rest of the swab for differential extraction. Place the swab cutting in a heated sperm lysis buffer column for 10 minutes. Centrifuge the column, and then add neutralizing solution and perform simple dilution of sample in TRIS EDTA. Add two microliters of lysate into the quantifiler trio real-time PCR reaction and use the standard protocol for the trio. If the sample contains male DNA, proceed with differential extraction. Once extracted, you can utilize the quantifiler trio again. For example, let's take a look at a sperm fraction quantification result here in the real-time PCR software. Focusing on sample S9, the total DNA quantity is 8 picograms, while the male component is 6 picograms. The software calculates the degradation index, which is quite small and hence not very relevant. Now based on the quant result, we don't suspect inhibition or degradation to be present, but we know that we have a small amount of male DNA, about you know, 6 picograms. This is where the global filer kit can really help. Looking at the profile in GeneMapper IDX with just the initial male concentration of 6 picograms per microliter of DNA, which is allowed for an amplification of 90 picograms of DNA, you can see here that we were able to still obtain a strong male profile. Now let's consider another sample. In this case, we have a vaginal swab that was taken two and a half days post-coital. For this sample, the presence of male DNA was confirmed by the Quantifiler Trio kit. Our quant result, as you see here, focusing on sample NP11, shows that we have a male to female ratio of 1 to 1,498. Whereas your typical workflow might be an autosomal amplification kit, based on these values, we can be confident up front that an autosomal STR kit would not yield a quality STR profile. And in fact, if the sample was amplified with an autosomal kit, that minor male profile might not have been detected as seen here. The female DNA overwhelmed the male DNA during amplification. So let's go back to the trio quantification result to see what it tells us. Here, it's flagging the male to female ratio. This alerts the user that the sample in question has a low male to high female ratio and a YSTR kit would be more appropriate. Now this is where Y Filer Plus kit comes into play. Y Filer Plus is the first six die 27 multiplex YSTR kit that has seven rapidly mutating YSTRs and 11 mini YSTRs. Now this sample was in fact processed with Y Filer Plus and here is the profile viewed in GeneMapper IDX analysis software. For this sample, we had an initial male concentration of 0.07 nanograms per microliter, which allowed for an amplification input of 0.7 nanograms of male DNA and a total input of 10,000 nanograms of female DNA. Now, as you can see here, even with a large amount of female DNA being present, we were able to still get a full male profile without any artifacts and obtain optimal intracolor balance. Remember, all decision making starts up front with the Quantifiler Trio kit. Whether you utilize it as a Y screen to better triage sexual assault type cases up front or to help assess sample quality and enable STR strategy decisions. Based on the right strategy, you can be confident to generate a quality STR profile using Global Filer and or Y Filer Plus. Now if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section wherever you find this video or ask us on Twitter. 
You'll find us at human underscore ID.